Hi guys, I'm Jack Hoffman, and I'm back to take another quiz in front of you guys. Last time we did a quiz to see if I was gay, because that's how you find out for sure. But apparently for society, that's not enough. We gotta divide up the gays into subcategories, because that's what's really important. Okay, I'm gonna get off my high horse. I'm also curious to do this. The only categories I really knew of were bear and twink, but apparently there's a bunch. So let's get to the bottom of it, I guess. Which gay subset are you? Let's start. All right, first question. How would you describe your body? And they got six options to pick from with pictures. Last quiz didn't have pictures. I like this. I'm gonna go with regular. Question number two. How would others describe your body? Tell the truth. Oh, geez. Okay, so it's not that common that other people describe my body to me. Although with the people I've been meeting recently, I wouldn't be surprised if that started happening. So how would people describe my body? I don't know, but I'm gonna go with regular again. What state is your body hair in? Good question. We got some. There's eight different options. I'm gonna go with a little hairy. Next question, who are you normally attracted to? So I think here we can see the different types of gays, or at least some of them. Are there more than this? I guess I'm gonna go by the pictures. One of them is literally of a lion cub, so I don't know what that looks like in the human variation. But I do know I'm not into pussy. Okay, that was a little unhinged of me. We're gonna get someone to bleep that. Just of this photo, I'm gonna say the otter dude probably looks the cutest, so that's what I'm going with. Okay, ideal first date. This is actually a tough call. I feel like I wanna go with just drinks, but I don't want drinks that look like that. Could I just get a beer or a whiskey? Is that an option for the just drinks? I don't wanna say straight to their place or drinks then straight to their place. This is a first date, I haven't met them yet. So I don't wanna go straight to their place or assume we're going to someone's place because what if we don't click? Like I said, I've been meeting some weird people recently. So let's go with just drinks. I just don't want drinks that look like that. If I could have a beer, we're chill. Next question says, pick a gay celebrity. I'm gonna be bad at this. I don't know most of these people by looking at them. I think I'm gonna go Michael Sam. Seems like an athlete. I like that's kind of breaking the stereotype, right? I could relate. Pick one, and it's just colors. Dark blue. Oh, that's it, it's calculating. Look at that. We got our results. Okay, this is pretty funny. Can you guys guess it before I show you? All right, take a little look. I'll flip the camera around there for you. I mean, it's one word. We are a bear. Yum. You'll keep us warm tonight. So this is one of the ones I'd actually heard of. I don't know if I'm thick enough or furry enough to be a bear. I'll let you guys maybe comment on that if I give bear energy. Let's look up the definition of bear and see if I agree. Bear. Gay. Definition. <laughs> In gay culture, a bear is a larger and often hairier man who projects an image of rugged masculinity. The bear concept can function as an identity or affiliation, and there is an ongoing debate in bear communities about what constitutes a bear. Okay, so it's up for interpretation. Larger and hairier, I feel like I'm kind of on the average of both those categories. Rugged masculinity, maybe just wearing a flannel and a Bass Pro Shops hat is enough. Well, that was fun informative, I guess. I'm going to tell Cameron to put the link for this quiz in the description box in case you guys want to take it. What do you think? Does Jack Hoffman come across as a bear? Comment. Let me know. I was instructed before I go to tell you guys to subscribe and click the bell because apparently it does things. Okay, that's going to be it for this video. See you guys.